Hello fellow engineers, I recently bought a bundle of overwhelmingly positive puzzle games and we're currently going through them to find out which one of them is the best. Last time we started with Gorogoa, a beautiful hand-drawn story puzzler where we're trying to fill up a fruit bowl. Yes, it sounds weird, but it's fantastic. So good in fact that we're continuing where we left off. Uh, anyway, let's move that up. Here you go, look. Oh no, this person's... Are you thinking about throwing the kid out the window? What? <laughs> Oh no, look, look, it's the eye. It's the creature of the eye. Ooh. Anyway, let's see. Can we move? Yeah, we can move that out of the way. Oh, this one's a map, bottom right. And if we pick this up. Oh, look, we can move the map around. Okay, so we've got, what's that? Death to the, death to the horse maid over there. And then top left, there's another one. Down here. Oh, look, there's a starry thing there. That's probably what I need because we can zoom in on that. And then, oh, we've got another staircase. It's mirrored though. So where did we last? see a staircase. Was it on this one? Oh, look, there's picture frames. I'm um, sort of thinking, are there arrows on there, like, going around in that circle? So do we go to this photo next? I mean, that sort of looks like the same door. It's the same pattern. It looks like it's missing a handle. I wonder if there's anything on these top two. Oh, I can zoom in down here. What do we have here? We've got some books. So there's a child taking fruit, or maybe a basketball. We've got a castle with a bell. Well, actually, if we zoom in on the castle, look, that's got a little, it's got a little window. Perhaps we can use that later on. Now, what if I zoom out of these? Are there any other photos that has, like, a castle on? And I can zoom into all of these. There's, does that line up with this one, actually? If I zoom in on there, that looks pretty good. Oh, no, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. It's, it's close, but uh, no cigar, as they say. This video is sponsored by Star Trek Fleet Command, the free-to-play mobile strategy game on iOS, Android, and Windows. And you can download it by clicking the link in my description or scanning this lovely little QR code that I've wanged in the corner over there. Now, one of the most beloved Star Trek franchises is finally returning in Star Trek Fleet Command, Deep Space Nine. Play alongside huge themes like war, morality, and spirituality. In the new in-game missions following the fan-favorite narrative of Deep Space Nine and Alliance Starbases, there's three new officers, Epic Cisco, Rare Kira, and Rare Miles O'Brien. The crew's primary focus will be on ship survivability over damage. Two officers will be useful in any armada, and one will only be useful against Alliance Starbase armadas. Alliance Starbases are a physical embodiment of an Alliance's strength, which push members to work together for shared progression and mutual benefits. It's basically a new social feature and players within an alliance will now be able to work together and build a starbase. By contributing to an alliance starbase, an alliance can take control over new system resources, celestial objects, in order to upgrade their base to provide new buffs to their alliance and themselves individually. Alliance members will have a chance to connect and work together to keep, maintain and defend their base from enemies. So boost the link in my description or scan this QR code to download Star Trek Fleet Command today. What about this last one? Oh, hang on. This looks promising. This looks a little bit promising. There's the fruit that we've got to get to anyway. I feel like... Have I missed something up here? Oh, look, there's another book. And that one has a moon. That one's got a sun. Uh, what if I... Oh, actually... Oh, I've just... Hang on. If we go to this kid... Because he's coloured in. What's he thinking? Oh, he's thinking... Oh, I'm an idiot. So what have I got to do? I've got to do that so you can walk up the stairs. Okay, I'm trying to get the kid through the painting. I understand now. So kids made it. We'll... We'll grab that out of the way. He's in that one. And oh no, is he being chased by that thing? It's now nighttime over that side. Let's go down the top left. What are you doing there, mate? Oh, he's looking at the bell. Oh, and there's a starry thing. Okay. Oh, I've gone, I've gone inside the starry thing. So I can go up. And then he's limping about. Oh, there's the bell in his hand. So is that what happened in the other painting? He's ringing the bell. Okay, so I feel like this is one where I need to like link it up at the right time. So while he's doing his bell thing, let's move along in this one and see. So what's in this painting? So I guess the question is, where does the bell go? So if we go back to these photos, there was there was a bell down. Was it in this one? Ah, it was over here, wasn't it? It was over here. So there's the bell. So can we... Oh, look, it's a castle. Oh, we've linked them together. Nice. <laughs> oh, I love solving puzzles when you don't mean to solve puzzles. So now he's there. Do I, do I zoom out? And now there's a background behind him. So how do I get the background to be a background? Let's just zoom out on this. Oh wow, there's like there's like four different seasons of things. Do I need to spin them somehow? It's like that's fully upside down. And there's the bell thing again. I imagine I've got to spin that so it's the right way round, maybe? Oh look, look, that's spinning the cog. Okay, that's spinning the cog. Okay, I've got it. I've got it now. So we move that down there, that down there, and that over there. And then that will spin the cog as it goes over the castle. That's cool. That is cool. 
So I'm guessing I probably want to spin it so we get the bell ringer one. And then we'll zoom in on this guy and see what's going on. So there is a bit of broken castle. I recognize that. Is that from this? Uh, it's similar. It is similar, but it's not quite right, is it? All right, let's get back to here. Maybe it's something to do with... I mean, maybe I should probably just check all of these. Oh, there you go. I just had to rotate it. So it was that way. So the pattern lined up. Oh, I knew there was a reason like the patterns were the same. I was just trying to figure out why. All right, anyway, now we've got it. So we can zoom out on there and then we're down into this photo. So we've got to try and link up with that somehow. Now with this one, I can, I can move that. So if I shove that over there, there you go. So he's in that painting now. So we move that out the way and then, yeah, he's turned around. So he's in there. Where's he off to? He's gone left. He's gone left. Oh, and look, the dragon thing's on the right. Oh, it's made at nighttime. That's dark. So let's zoom out on this one. Right, so there's the kid. So you can see he's there. So he's trying to get over to that side. So this is a weird view. I'm like between two paintings. Am I meant to be between them or am I meant to be in this one? I feel like I'm meant to be between them. And then I got to get the kid out of there. Yeah, that makes sense. Right, let's zoom out on this. What is that? <laughs> okay, so we can zoom in on loads of different things. Okay, and we can also zoom out, but uh, nothing else. Okay, so we've got to zoom in on this, and we've got to try and work out which one of these we want. I'm wondering, that pattern comes off the bottom. Right, in your basket then. In your basket. Good boy, Paddy. Get you some biscuits. You know you've got to stay down now because Daddy's working, isn't he? Your dad's got to tell knob jokes so he can buy your food. Good boy. Right, so I reckon we're probably done with the bell ringer, right? So let's zoom out. Well, actually, actually, if I take that, do they line up? That looks like it line... Oh, they don't line up. They don't line up. I thought they did. All right, I'm wondering, if we go back into this one with the fountain, do that have, like, these symbols on? Oh, 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 oh. Look, there you go, there you go, the flower, the flower. Yes, we found it. So now the wheel is turning. Where's it going to stop? <laughs> it's like a TV game show. All right, I assume that spun stuff to where I want it to. So if we zoom in on that one, we can zoom right in. Ah, oh, here we go, here we go. That's looking good. So shove that on there. The dude's gonna... Oh no, there's no staircase. The kid is not gonna head across. He's like, no, Matt, you cock this up. I think we've got to do it upside down. Can you see the stairs up there? So put that back over to there. Zoom out. Shove it on the flower. And then get it upside down. Which isn't there because it's on that side. Do I just have to keep waiting till it rotates to where I want it to? Yes. Okay, there it is. So that's upside down. So we can zoom in on that. Zoom in again. And when we're fully zoomed in, shove that over there. Oh, look at this. This is cool. It's so rewarding when you get like some of these harder puzzles, right? So we move that out of the way. Kid's over there now. Dragon's on that side, turning that to night. That's fine. That's what he does. So we'll go into this painting now. So there is the kid. Uh, first off, let's zoom out of this one. So what do we have here? What even? Oh, it's like a weird... Oh, I tell you what, actually, that looks like, that looks like this thing over here. That's similar, isn't it? If we zoom out and then shove that on top. Oh, yes. And they could potentially be cogs. Uh, so let's move that back down. Has that changed? I think that's changed this bottom image, has it? Oh, I tell you what. I tell you what. This is the same as before. But um, yeah, okay. I've got this. I've got this now. So when we put that on there, can you see they're like, they're like gears? They're like cogs. And I think in order to turn that, we need to like find the moon or something. So if we zoom out of this one, go back to the top. Then over this way, perhaps go to the mountains. I feel like the stairs might link with his stairs. If we go over this way, there's the stairs. If we move that, oh no, they don't link. They don't link, actually. Well, on this plate, let's zoom in a little bit. So if we zoom in, oh, we can zoom in twice, three times on there. Ah, oh, here we go. So we've got to rotate that to the top so it links up with that. So that's fine. We've just got to work out how to rotate this plate. I wonder if something has to be like next to this one or something. I mean, there is there is like a mountain behind her. So that's what's making me think we got to go to the mountains. What if we swap those sides and do that? Oh, oh, look, look, I can shove it on there and that spins them. Okay, so look at this. When this turns, that is going to that's going to spin the plate. So I think we're looking for that one to be vertical or upright, if you know what I mean. So as long as it stops there. Okay, I think that's good. I think that's what we wanted. So now when we zoom into the plate, we can zoom in on that one, zoom in on the castle, and then they link, and the guy's going across. Amazing. Right, now we zoom out of that one, and we've done that photo, so we can go on to the last photo, uh, which if we zoom way in back here, we've got that going on. So do we just swap those sides? Yeah, then they're linked. 
Nice. And then he's got the fruit, the forbidden purple fruit. It's like a giant plum. Uh, and now what do we do with them? Oh no, the plate's smashed. Oh, he's thinking about smashing plates. That's that's weird, mate. So we can go left or we can zoom out. Let's go left. So there's that there. And I can make the kid appear. Decent. So a tram's just pulled up. I think the kid's got on the bus. No, he hasn't. No, he hasn't. He stayed there. He stayed there. So you go back across this way. And he's thinking about the next fruit. He's always thinking about fruit, that kid. So zooming out, we've got that. And zooming in, we've got that. Oh, we can zoom in on these as well. Okay, okay. You can zoom in on that. Oh, look, actually, I've zoomed out way further on these books than I usually can. So that guy's just literally thinking about any and everything. Okay. <laughs> now let's zoom out. So he's in his window. So what do we have up here? There's a calendar sort of half on the wall. I wonder if that's going to... Oh, we just pushed that over. Now he's thinking about throwing that kid out the window again. Let's... <laughs> Let's head along here. We've got a calendar here with a load of rings. Uh, a little bit weird, that one. I wonder what we do next. We can... Oh, we can drag that off and then zoom out on that. Zoom out on this one and we're at like a bus stop. So we go over here. We've got some flowery stuff. We've got like a vertical train. Then in this one, the tram... Okay, so the tram keeps arriving. Oh, there's a kid. Are you getting on the train this time? Stop. Put a head in there. Okay, so if I what if I zoom out on that? Can I put that guy's can I put your head in there, mate? No, I don't know. I don't know how to do that. I need a head. Does anyone have any heads? I need to play that coin flipping game again. Oh, there's a ring. There is a ring. I can put that on there. Yes, we've made the coin. So the coin oh, it was a coin. It wasn't a head. It was a coin. <laughs> well, that's cool. I made a coin. Alright, so then the tram drives off. And then oh look, that just fell off. Oh, look, there's the tram lines. So if we remember, if we go left and then left again on this one. We've got tram lines here. How the crap do we actually get these to work? <laughs> Alright, so we just need the train to end up on that one, I think. So, oh, it's gone under a bridge. You know what that means? We need a bridge review. Bridges that are only viewable in the second dimension. No other one. Wait, second dimension or first dimension? Now, I'm pretty sure second dimension was right. Uh, let's zoom in on here and then with the bridge is gonna... It's gone. It's gone. It's gone. Anyway, I give this bridge a 2.2 out of 10 because it's only two dimensions. Bridge review. Uh, right. <laughs> For the puzzle, I think we can zoom in and then the train's going to go around that way. And it hasn't gone this direction before. So now it's gone down there, which means if we zoom out, the train is now on a new bit of track. So it should come out that purple side, right? Yeah, look, there it goes. There goes the train. Yeah, so what if we zoom out of these? What if we go back over this direction? The tram has pulled up again. I assume that's because the train there has arrived here. Yeah, because that's the station. Oh, okay, got it, got it. So that was the tram he was on. So where's he got to? He's over there. Okay, he just looked at that and then he's buggered off. Where's he gone? He's now looking at that. He's saying, I need a wall. You sound like Donald Trump when he was in charge. So we can look through the floor. We can look through that little window thing. Uh, how how do we find a wall? i tell you what, that background looks sort of maze-ish. So we got that. I can, oh, there we go. There we go. So we can shove that there. Uh, that does nothing though. I assume we need to do that in a bit. So what else can we do? We can zoom out of that. And that's just the map. We can zoom out of this. Ah, oh, here we go. Here we go. So we go that side and that side. But then he should... Oh, I was hoping he'd walk across there. What if I put them up there? Oh, come on, mate. Just walk over that side. What are you doing? <laughs> do I need to sort this wall out first? It looks knitted, actually. And look, there's knitting, there's knitting stuff there. Oh, look, I can drag that off. Okay, okay. So we've got, we've got a new, a new thing. It looks like a quilt, a tapestry. Oh, we can change it to be a uh, pointy upper. Do we want that? So now he's thinking about going ahead, is he? Or is he just like, no, that was, that was complete nonsense, Matt. What are you on about? All right, if we can find a left pointy one. There you go. There's the left pointy one. Okay, got it. Got it. We put that on. And look, now he's thinking, oh, I want to go left. So he's going to go left. That is literally Inception. You, you go inside his dreams and make him think about left. All right, now we can look at that. So he's thinking about cutting something. Uh, but I reckon if we do a bit of jiggery pokery, they're now linked. So we've just got to get him to go left somehow using the scissors. Uh, ooh, ooh, I've gone through the window. I've gone through the door, the window thing. So we've got a ladder down there. We've got, what's up here? big oh no it's the monster it's making it nighttime oh, i did make it nighttime this time anyway we'll zoom in over there so we've got we've got the fruit that's where we've got to get him to question is how now we've got a door down here oh look there's a ladder there i feel like that's once he's through through the gate isn't it 
through the little doorway. Just don't know how do I get you to go left? What are you trying to tell me? You want to cut Japanese writing? How? I don't understand. Oh, is it? I just... Oh, idiot, Matt. It's always like that. How have I not learned? I've just got to drag them off by now. Right, so let's zoom out on this. So we need... I feel like it's a left arrow again. So we zoom to that arrow. We tell him, think about left thoughts. And then he goes across there. There we go. Sorted. So now he's going through that doorway, which I think means I can zoom out and I can follow him going through this way. Yeah, look, there he is. He's down there. He's by that ladder. So he's now thinking about a door. And oh my goodness, what is that? A planet chart. So we go up, we got some vines and stuff. Interesting. Okay, let's zoom out on this one. Are we done with this map yet? Is there anything else to do on this? Oh, look, yellow ladder. We zoom in on that. That is the train track. So at some point, we need him to climb up there. Okay. But for now, we drag that off like we've been taught, Matt. And then, oh, we can move this one. So what do we want? What do we want? Uh, if we shove it up here, we've got a few different pictures to pick from. That's, yeah, is that saying go up? There we go. There we go. So he's saying, right, I'm going up the ladder. See you in a bit. So he's gone up there. We can have a look up. And now he's trapped. But we can then shove that there just in time. Is he going to go? No, where's he gone? Wait. <laughs> I thought you were meant to be linked. Okay, I think I just timed it really badly. Okay, so go up the ladder, mate. So he's going up the ladder. We can move that up there. And then we're already, we're linked underneath now. So he should come down this one. Yes, okay. Timed it better that time. So now I can go down on that one. So they're no longer linked. That's fine. And then I've got to go find the yellow ladder, which is over there. And then shove that underneath. And then he goes all the way down. Look, there he is. There he is. I feel like I'm training this kid to be an engineer. Or to think like an engineer, at least. Uh, so where's he gone? He's gone. He's gone in that, which means he's probably gone upstairs, right? Yep, there he is. He's going to get that fruit. The giant plum. I was like, oh, I've got all the fruit. I think we've got all the fruit anyway. All right, so now we've got to zoom out on this. We can zoom out again. And look, we can drag him up to there. So he's thinking about the worshipping of the fruit. And now, oh, oh, the fruit's coming out. So we've got all the fruit now. And they're, they're burning in the sun, apparently. Uh, oh, the, the bowl broke. There's a scary eye. I think that's me. I was watching you this whole time, child. I'm going to sleep now. That was too much puzzling for me, I say. Now, what is actually going on? Oh, it's all gone dark. Oh, now he's falling because the tower's disappeared. It was a premonition from earlier. Oh, and he hasn't he hasn't splattered on the floor. He's just about managed to stop. Oh, look, he's remembering how he fell. Oh, so I did I did cripple him. Sorry, mate. No, anyway, let's go back to the top, I guess. And oh, there isn't a top anymore. <laughs> Uh, are they rebuilding? I think they're rebuilding. There's like cranes in the background. And has he returned as an old man? Remembering the fruit that destroyed his life. The moral of this game, don't eat fruit. It's bad for you. Anyway, I can zoom in on each of these fruits. I don't know why, why, why do I want to? Oh, I can drag them off. That is why. That's why. So he's thinking about, he's thinking about a black bull, apparently. Uh, is that right? Am I meant to make you think about like that one? Because it's sort of patterned. So, oh no, each one is a each one is a thing. Oh look, <gasps> and then I can move this around. All right, where do we want to go to? The planet chart, the coral. So many memories. Maybe the planet chart. No, not the planet chart. All right, okay, we've looked at that one. There wasn't much going on there. I'm guessing we just got to go through all of these, right? What's the middle one going to be about? So that's the person there. Always oh, thinking. Think about nighttime, is he? Outside we have a moth. Okay, what about this top right one? So that is. Oh, back to this dude. If we move that down. Oh, look, we got this. We got some, like, we got some stuff going on. Oh, look, there's a sun. Can I zoom in on the sun? I can. Oh, look, this has got cogs and all sorts. All right, let's move that out the way. Oh, there's a sun there as well. So what's what's in the sun? It's the bell ringer. So the bell ringer is doing his thing. He just, he just rings the bell and then carries on walking. Okay, got it. Got it. Can I put him in the sun? I have. I put him there. Oh, that means he's going to walk and move these, right? There you go. We're moving. We're moving. Okay, so now can I go up to that and make him think of... Oh, it's disappeared. It disappeared. <laughs> I feel like I'm trying to make him think about the the symbol. So there it is. Think about that, mate. All right, then we can click on that. And then we can put that in there. Ooh. And then zoom... Oh, okay. So we've just got to find all the fruit. Okay, so that's all we're doing. So back to this one. So each of these was a puzzle I have to solve. I was just not very clever earlier. So if we move that, we've then got this. Okay, so it's got to be something to do with this. Oh, I can just click on the planet chart. I'm an idiot. 
then we've done that. We've got into the plant charts. Let's drop this down. So we can go have... Yeah, we can have our nose around here. There you go. There's the thing. You think about that, mate. I'll click on that. I'll move that over to there. We've got the purple one. So we've just got to find each fruit, essentially. Should be easy to do, right? So we just move that. We can zoom out on that. Oh, there you go. We go outside. And I reckon that will link with this. Yep, perfect. So the moth, he's attracted up there. Then, oh, no, he's on fire. <laughs> the moth burnt up. Yeah, but that means we've found that one. So, so we can zoom out on this one. Go back to the guy. Make him think about that. Zoom in on it. Put that over there. Oh, this is decent. This is cool. I'm loving this now. What's the next one? So drag that. Zoom out drag that so there's a hole in the wall uh, i can click down here i'm not entirely sure what oh, i can click again okay keep clicking keep clicking there you go we got we got the green one so you think about the green one we'll look at that we'll shove that on top of it nice so looking at our fruit bowl we just got one more bit of fruit to find so drag that zoom out drag that here we go here we go so zoom out on that one we're in a house. We can go through this door and go left. Oh, it's the kid. What are you thinking about, kid? He's thinking about all sorts. Oh, it's like, is that like blood on there? Oh, look, that's what we want to find. That's what we want to find. So you up there, zoom in on that. Move that on top of that. Oh, we're doing it. We're doing it. So there's the fruit bowl. We've healed it. So now it happens. Oh, they're all, they're all merging into one circle. And then he's looking up at it. What's going to happen to him? Oh, no, he's being burnt alive. <laughs> This poor man, we like, uh, we crippled him and then we burnt him alive. The life of the creature. This looks like, it's like, what's the Pokemon? Ho-ho? Ho-ho? I can't remember what way round it was. Turns out that Pokemon was evil. Anyway, we're now zooming into its eyeball, which is a little bit weird. But uh, that's the end. Oh, that was cool. What a fun game. Uh, fair play, Jason Roberts. That was immense. That was so good. But yeah, enjoyed that. And if you did too, let me know in the comments and tell me which one of those games that I showed in, at the very start uh, that you want to see next. And we'll go on to that because I think, I don't know, maybe we'll call this Puzzle Month. We'll get through all those puzzle games because they look amazing. They're all overwhelmingly positive as well, uh, which generally means they're fantastic games. And I feel like they need, they need to be seen by more people. Anyway, peace, love and puzzle games. Bye, guys.